Hey guys, Colby here. Welcome back to another video. We have the Artifact Enhancement 2, number 2, going on right now for the Iron Man's Hybrid Fusion. And I'll show you on my thought process on how I'm gear cleansing and upgrading artifacts at the same time on the free-to-play account where my gear is not the best, but I'm trying to see, okay, what gear would be beneficial in the future in the account and how I can use that to move forward, okay? Also doing the Artifact Enhancement event as efficiently as possible. And I'll give you some of my tips that I follow on the main account. Um, I'm not showing the main account. The reason for that is I have lots of silver. I basically have all of my artifacts and accessories at about level 12 already, which you lose out on a, a good chunk of points and anything else I just have to take to 16, which is the least efficient, I would say, especially for accessories. Okay. Either accessories or artifacts, give you 270 or 340 points if you're doing five and six stars, okay? So that's where you get the biggest chunk, but it is very RNG heavy when you're upgrading artifacts to get all of them to 16. Can sometimes take you one and a half million. If you're lucky, 500,000. If you're unlucky, 2.5 million for artifacts. For accessories, that can get up to like four and a half million. So, it is very risky to be, yeah, be upgrading your accessories, especially on accounts such as mine. Look at that, 3.8 million silver on the top. So we're gonna start out this um, this artifact enhancement event. I will not be able to finish it, I don't think, without having to spend a little bit of my energy farming gear on the Ice Golem tournament. As an example, I still haven't finished that. I'm a little bit, a little bit closing into the 2250. I could have gone to the 2750. I'm thinking about it because that's an epic book and for free to play accounts such as this one, it is the way to go to get those epic books and get your epics skilled up and ready for uh, for battle, right? So um, what, I, what I do in between artifact enhancements when there's fusions, on the free to play at least, is whenever I farm an item, you can see I have all these items that are not leveled up. These are all junk items. I have not gone through and gear um th through the gear and sold any of it why did i do that well the reason is every single piece of gear has the potential to give you some points even if it's not something that you would keep i'll, I'll start with this one so let's say this is a life artifact it's a four star i'll get this to level four this is the the number one tip we usually give is take it to just level four and then sell it you pretty much get the cost back of the item especially legendary ones like uh, this one is a shield six star. I can get this to eight, even 12 is worth it because it's a six star legendary. Um, I think the legendary doesn't, doesn't matter. I think for points, it's only the level. So it's a six star still, you get lots of points for the level 12. They didn't upgrade that well, so I will be selling it. And that's how I move forward with every piece of gear. So I was thinking to make this as uh, my own like guide of how I move and, and do these. That like the five stars and six stars, I'm probably gonna be taking to level eight, but I'll see on how that does to what that does to my um, to my silver because I don't have enough silver to take everything to eight or twelve. So at least level four, some of them I think level eight if it's worthy um, for me to keep it. So four stars I do not keep anymore, but I've kept them and I've been farming them since I do level sixteen. On, oh, that I took this to eight. That was a mistake. But anyway, um, I do keep them because I need to get the free points. And I do level 16 on the Ice Golem because it is the safest 100% efficiency run that I can do. I can, I can go and try 20, but I guarantee it will not be 100%. So already selling um, most of these items that I've been getting. The life set is very underwhelming. After you played for a month, most of the life sets that you get will be replaced and it's very difficult to keep any of these pieces. So at the same time, we have the CBC going on. So I am getting points for that one as well. So you can see here, pretty much we've gone through one of the sets that I've been farming and I have about, I'm not gonna say the same amount, but I have a good chunk of uh, silver left I, almost like it didn't move and I already have 100 points so that is how I move forward with these types of artifact enhancements it's not that I have unlimited gear also to note but if you are farming and you're being uh, and if you note like okay I have this 
This is like a six star, so I'm going to get it to 12. Gives me a good chunk of points. I will sell it though, because the attack set is very similar to the life set. It's a, it's a little bit worthless uh, because you get the cruel sets if you're farming clan boss. And clan boss is the way to go for gear farming. Once you can get to nightmare difficulty and ultra nightmare, you get five and six stars. So this is a relatively good piece, but again, it's a five star offense set. It's very difficult for me to do anything with this, but um, I don't think I have any place for this on any of my champions, really. But I'll keep on keep on going. Level eight is maybe not the way to go for the, the five stars, but uh, level four, I think, is what I'm going to be doing on the five stars. I'm at a 3.3 million. Um, and I will be farming lots more gear. So right now I'm just getting items to level four. It's very little points you get on level four, but it is it is worth it. The six stars I'm getting to twelve. I think I think it's better you get a bigger chunk of points on the six stars, and I don't get that many six stars, so it's not that it's gonna deplete my silver that much quicker. So leveling these up. What I'm looking for is speed and crit rate usually on the sets that are worth it. So um, I think I'll just fast forward a little bit and go to actually the sets that are worth it and um, and see on if my my tips are worthy for you guys. Right. OK, let's uh, have a look at the items that I've been. Um, well, I've been selling so like if you can see I've sold every single attack piece defense pretty much all of it speed I didn't farm any I have most at 8 and 12 so speed sets obviously you're looking for speed substats or or if you get like a triple triple roll like this one you keep it and hope you get an epic chaos or or a legendary chaos or and use that for a hopeful triple roll on speed but for now I'm keeping that because I don't have an epic chaos or and um, we're going through now to the resistance items. These are very, very difficult to get and actually be worth it. So like this one's rolled resistance is now rolled crit rate. I'm looking for speed. Speed is king in, in raid, guys. Honestly, speed is king. Even with the different metas we had, um, speed is king. And you're looking for speed on every single one of your items because turn-based game, right? You get more turns as you're playing because you have more speed than the enemies uh, and you can actually lap them and get sometimes two turns for every one turn they are taking. So this one's like a six star piece. It's a crit rate piece, so I'm keeping it. Six star crit rate pieces are very nice to have on uh, many accounts when you're using it on your C teams, B or C teams, not your A team. Your A team has crit damage on the gloves, but your B or C team could use a crit rate glove, honestly. Um, especially for things like faction wars, you can throw that on them, get an easy 100% crit rate total on your champion and move forward with what you're looking for. So we're dropping into the cursed set. The cursed set is a very good set if you are planning to do the Hydra. So this is one of the worthwhile, worthwhile reasons to do um, to do ice column. So here, this one's got crit rate, crit damage. This is actually good. It's a five star still, but crit rate, crit damage. I could roll it to 12, but for now I'm keeping that one. Uh, I think the level fours I'm selling, by the way, if I take it to eight, I'm going to think about it. But um, I am being, I'm trying to be as efficient as possible. Spent about a million so far of my silver, but I have also gone through lots of the gear pieces that I have been farming. Okay. And when you don't have a lot of gear pieces to upgrade, it becomes very difficult to complete these artifact enhancements without going into the accessories tab. Eventually, you need to go, obviously, to the accessories tab and start upgrading your accessories. You can't have them at level one, right? I know. But the time that you do that is usually when you are comfortable with the resources that you have. Right now, I'm not comfortable and I'm not risking the fusion just so I can get an accessory to level 16, right? So, so far out of these pieces, nothing was good. Like there was no crit rate speed as an example here. Speed is what I need, okay, on the pieces. And I have to be brutal with it. You guys have to be brutal with it, with the items that you keep or sell. So I have now these two cursed items. Let's see, speed boots there. And then this is an attack percent boot. So I sell that and I move forward. I'll get this piece to level four. And we're looking good, okay? So 
Moving down the list, like all of these items, as you can see, like this frost shield I kept, it's a six star crit rate speed. It can definitely be used by somebody. But for now, I'm not stressing too much about it. The region said, as an example, I'm keeping because every single piece of region will eventually be useful if you're doing faction wars. So that can be um, in my mind in the future. I have some of these pieces here, like this one's a six star relentless. I can get this to 12 for easy points. But look at the cost there, 400,000. Uh, I do get some points, but it's still very, very costly. And it, it did hurt a little bit. Like this one's an HP percent boot. I don't have immediate use for those items also. So that's why I'm, I'm thinking about it twice before I do anything. Some of these items, I just, I just look at them and I think, okay, should I level this up? Like this one's a destroy set. I can level this up. Look at that, double on the HP percent. Can be useful. Not gonna say it, it is useful at the moment, but it can be useful in the future. Stun set, it's kind of the same thing. It's very useful to have a stun set. So I might as well level these to 12 because these are items I will be using. Like this is defense percent with no speed, but the set is so good that I'll, I'll have to slowly work on maybe having speed boots with an item that doesn't have speed and make my way forward with that. So this one's a defense percent boot. It needs to get HP percent. They're rolled now. Look at that. Okay, good. It means it's a good item and I can uh, I can keep it for now. This one's a toxic set from the dragon that I, I guess I didn't level up before. So I'm gonna try and level it up. But again, it doesn't have speed. So I have to be a little bit brutal with it and, um, and level it up. So this one's defense percent gloves with speed. Obviously, I'm gonna level these up at least to four. Didn't roll there on the speed. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to skip leveling that one. Maybe this one to eight because it already has speed leveled up. Look at that. Okay. Already a good toxic item, but I already have like four shields. Am I ever going to use four shields? No, because it means I have four champions that need a toxic set. So I have to be a little bit selective with everything. Level eight for this one. Again, I'm not going to use a toxic set, but accuracy on the main stat on a six star item. Mm. Sounds good, right? So. I'm moving like this through my gear. I'm moving with every single piece, leveling it up. I usually keep everything, as I said, but on the main account, I don't do this. I don't keep everything that I farm. I don't need to be as efficient on the main account. That's why I think this showcase is much better and more realistic for the majority of players like you guys out there where you have to make choices every single day when you're pushing your accounts. So like, look at this provoke set. This is a six star actually, so might risk it. But look at the cost there, 350,000. It didn't, it wasn't that great of an item. So I'm, I'm being wasteful a little bit, but look at that double crit rate. It's worth it. Okay, guys, I moved myself also here just to make it clear when I'm uh, looking at items. So this is like a four star. Remember, we don't, we don't keep the four stars unless you are two weeks into Raid Shadow Legends. You please, you do not keep the four stars. You go with five and six stars. All right, and if you've been playing too long, Great Shadow Legends, you don't even keep the five stars anymore. Maybe the mythicals, and you roll them, and unless they go very well with the rolls, that's that's a sell, right? So doing well so far. We'll, we we will take a break after this and have a look at our points. I wonder how many points I have. This one's rolled okay. Look at that HP percent with crit rate. So I'm gonna risk the level eight. Okay, rolled on speed. That's good. This one's a flat defense on the top. So this is just for points that I kept it right just for points, but it's still, it's still points. You know, I would have had way more silver if I was being a little bit wasteful with everything. So look at that. those gloves, HP percent gloves. They're not going to be useful at all. Um, I don't think, but I'll keep them just to have complete provoke. Now I have four pieces. So weapon, shield, gloves, chest, have four pieces. I can give somebody a provoke set if I need to. So let's take a break and have a look. My silver is about 1.4 million. We started with 3.7, 3.8, maybe four. Let's say four to make it, uh, we are down to about 50%. I don't expect to finish it today. As I said, the artifact enhancement will not be finished today, but I am 900 points in already with basically 4 million silver. Starting with 4 million silver, spent 2.5 million silver, and I did 900 points. And you need 
4.8 thousand. So I need to do this about four more times in total. Is that going to be easy? Definitely not. Definitely not. But there's small bits here and there that can help you guys. There's the clan shop. So here you can get some silver. You can get the energy. I hope you are doing your quests every single week. There's three quests to pick up. If you can pick them and do them, it's going to be easy for you guys. Like uh, take a break, go and refresh your arena. Find maybe easy teams, beat those. Oh, look at that six star awaken duchess i don't think i can beat that that's probably gonna be like a tanky as heck duchess those trap one person defenses get me every single time man. every single time so uh let me just do this and carry on with the gear cleanse because i want to show you i want to show you on how i do this and and keep up with the fusion because i've i've been keeping up with the fusion only ice column has not been finished yet but i will finish it and um and i also didn't do the summoning event which was risky but we'll see if the risk pays off when the hero's path is actually announced so these are four stars the the retaliation set after its change became a two-piece set that is a very very crucial difference to how it was before it was a, before a four-piece set very difficult to Put on a champion and keep that champion also alive let's say your frozen banshee that is a very good example frozen banshee is the best epic uh not, not epic a rare champion that um has some use of the retaliation because every time she counterattacks with her single target um a1 she will be applying a poison as long as there's a poison sensitivity debuff already on the boss so look at that we're going through these items level four um, if I see a roll that goes to my liking, like it, it rolls where I, I want it, I will take that item to 12 and, and think about keeping it right. This one's got 80% accuracy crit rate. This is not a bad piece if you're looking for the retaliation set, but you also have to be realistic just because it's not bad. Are you really going to be keeping that piece for somebody? So this is a six star. That's why I'm probably going to take it to a little bit higher. Wonder if I should risk the level 12. It usually costs so much. Look at that. 250k plus whatever I spent already. But uh, I will sell it. And uh, we'll see how to, to go after this. So we sell that. 160k. Another 6 star. I think I'm going to get this to 8. Yeah, 67k. And I sell it for 30k. I mean, it's alright. If I get all of the items to 8... Problem is that that costs 37 and I sell it for 28. I'm losing more silver um, that I'm gaining. I'm gaining points, of course, but I don't have a lot of silver. If I had like 10 million silver, I could have been doing this to finish the artifact enhancement very quicker, way quicker. But this way, I'm also cleansing all my piece of gear. And I have to do this with level four, maybe on my accessories as well. But accessories cost a lot, even on level four, and it's nuts. So right now, sold everything. I pretty much have two good pieces, two sets, complete sets. So weapon, helmet, helmet, chest piece. I can actually use the retaliation set if I wanted to. But um, sometimes it's all about the stats of the items that you get. So it's stats over sets. I hear that a lot. I hear that a lot. I don't agree with it. Oh my God, that was very costly. That was bad decision. 500k immediately dropped there. So I have to be careful with uh, the remaining items that I do. Um, stalwart set. Do you need the stalwart set? Not so much. It's very difficult to build a team with the stalwart set on. It's very gear intensive to make the stalwart set worth it. And champion, uh, the champion required are very specific to use the stalwart set, meaning you have a way to recover health when you are, let's say, fighting in dungeons or specifically the clown boss. And uh, you want this to be reducing your damage that you take from AOE attacks by, by the percentage it does, which is 30%. It's very difficult to, to put it in since it's a four piece bonus. You're going to lose out your lifesteal and probably you'll, you'll be dying more than you would like. So here, um, these are these are relatively good pieces that I've been keeping. So like, look at this speed there. 
speed, defense percent, speed, accuracy, HP percent. These are good pieces. But if I'm if I'm realistic, I'm never gonna use these. I'm I'm keeping them for maybe I use them on somebody, but especially on this free to play account because it's a challenge account. I'm never, never gonna use a stalwart set. Um, never, just never, never. I I think I have one champion on the stalwart set on my main account at this point, because now we have the new set which comes from the Forge Pass. So if you've been buying Forge Passes, the Defiant set is similar to a stalwart set, but the difference is the Defiant set is half the reduction with also half the requirements. So it's a two piece set bonus, which you can stack up. You can just stack up though. So uh, the reflex set is very good, but you need speed. It, it goes along the same concept that I've been repeating. It's you need the speed because it's a speed based game. And this set specifically is for supports or damage dealers that need that 40% chance to reduce their skills cooldown. So it's a very specific set and it's very specific usefulness. Some champions I can give examples of that can use this set is Geomancer, Royal Guard, Husk. You can definitely use these champions with this set and you will see useful interactions with this because they have long cooldowns. Not Geomancer, but Royal Guard and Husk have four turn cooldowns on their big damage dealing skills and you need that lowered, right? So this one's a crit damage weapon. It's a five star though, it rolled speed. So we'll probably roll it on eight. Accuracy speed, it's not bad. It's not bad, but level fours is where the points are at. And uh, yeah, this can take a long time. I know guys, it's not as quick as boom, take it to 16, finished. Artifact enhancement, finished. Like that. I mean, I know this takes a lot more time, but it is way more costly and that's how they get you. They want you to be inefficient. If you're inefficient, you are tempted to spend. And if you're tempted to spend, who wins? The house wins, Clarium. <laughs> the house wins and we lose out on our much, much difficult um, silver, uh, much difficult to acquire silver, right? It takes so long to farm silver that it's nuts on how easy it is to spend it and they've never changed it. Um, this interaction of silver in the game. They've never added something like a silver mine or anything. So here, all of these items that you can see at level four, these are not worth it to keep. The, the level eights, like this one's the six star, um, six star level eight. The only reason I took it to eight because it's a six star and it's more points. The others, the, the five stars, I'm just selling everything. So this one's got crit rate, crit damage. It would have been amazing if it was a five star, but I have to be a little bit uh, brutal with it. So yeah, I'm selling these. I don't even have a full set now. I'm, I'm okay with it though. Cause look at that. I'm back to 1 million silver because I'm being a little bit brutal. So now these are the, the next pieces that are very much well worth keeping every single day that you're doing clan boss. What clan boss am I doing? I'm doing nightmare every day and I get two chests per day, meaning at least two items. These can be five star. Um, rares can be epics. Are the cruel sets good? Yes, they are. They are very good. And the only way to get them is from the clan boss. So look at this crit rate, crit damage. It can give you defense, penetration, and attack percent. So this item is very good. Again, will I ac actually use it on the, on the free to play? I don't think so. It's very difficult to focus on this set, which is basically needed by nukers because right now my biggest nuker is Rathalos and I'm using him on clan boss and I don't have the need for the cruel set on him because he can ignore defense with his A2 skill. And I'm using a life set plus Rathalos set on him. So looking good. Some of these items are not that great. Uh, like this one, you know, it, you see it. Tag percent. I kept it. Why did I keep it? Could potentially triple roll it, right? If if let's say I was on the main account and this was like a six star, but same, this kind of stats, this roll there, say I took it to 12 and it triple rolled attack percent. That is the perfect candidate for a chaos or guys. You use the chaos or 
And li just like that, you get... Um, you use the chaos order and just like that, you can potentially get a triple crit rate item, okay? So all of these are bad, like 83% cruel set you will never use. It makes no sense. The cruel set is a set which you use to boost your attack percent damage dealer and to give them extra attack percent and um, ignore defense. So how does this fit into that equation? You have to think of it. How does that set fit into my goal, which is to get um, my damage dealer as powerful as possible? It doesn't fit anywhere. So you have to sell it. But you keep it because it is a set that is worth keeping. So this one's got a cruel, cruel set with the speed boots. Speed boots are hard to find. And if you're looking to complete a set, sometimes you'll need to use those speed boots. I got, this one's a four star. I'm going to keep that because it's triple rolled on speed. Some of these are just not worth it. These shields I'm never going to use. Um, yeah, keeping the rest. How much silver am I at? I don't know. We'll check in just a second. So immortal set. Immortal set is even harder than the cruel set. This can be a great set regardless of the stats. It doesn't even need to have speed sometimes. The immortal set, of course, gives you a healing every time you get a turn. But this is such a good set that I usually keep even the bad pieces on the free to play. Cold Brew, why do you do that? Well, the answer to that one question you guys have is because the immortal set is key if you want to be beating faction wars. Immortal set, regeneration sets, all of these are key. And look at this one. This one has accuracy, crit rate, attack percent. Fantastic item for overall progression. So definitely worth it for me. Um, so from all of these, I basically kept every single immortal piece. As you can see, I have kept every single one of them at, at level four. I can even take them to eight, honestly. But I'm moving forward just because this video is taking a long, longer time. Like this one's a divine offense. I have zero use for divines, uh, divine items, honestly. But I mean, this one, if it rolls crit rate, I could, I could risk it. It's a six star. I'm going to get lots of points for the artifact enhancement. 200k. Mm. We rolled H3%. Yeah. Can have some use. The divine crit rate is okay, as I said, but again, like crit rate gloves, no speed, no crit damage on the substat, no attack percent. It's really, it's it's wishing it, it was good, but it's not. All right. That's that's what that item is sticking. So divine um life, very similar kind of concept. It has to be very good to be kept. It's like the life set, but it's a little bit better. So this one's a six star. Look at that. Uh, do I rip the bandaid and take it to 12? I think I will because it's accuracy HP, but you, you take it slowly. Maybe it rolls the HP flat and it really messes with me. So I want to take it slowly. So take it to eight. Come on speed. There we go. This is accuracy speed. Like this item is very well worth taking to 16 now, even if it's a broken set item. Why do I say that? Because accuracy, boom, money, you know, valuable, speed, fantastic. The Honestly, the worst stat here that you see, are you guys going to say HP? No, attack percent. That's the bad stat here. It's attack percent because here it could have been resistance, could have been HP percent. All right. The attack percent is bad because it has no use for what this item is intended for. This is intended for a champion that needs speed. It needs more accuracy. Why would that champion need more attack percent? Very unlikely that you would use it on a bomb champion who needs attack percent and speed and accuracy. Very unlikely you use the divine life set. You would use an attack percent set on him. But this is the only case I can imagine where a champion would need speed, accuracy, attack percent. So moving forward, um, all of these items, the divine speeds and stuff, these are from the arena resets. I keep them on purpose. Keep them on purpose, even though they don't have a speed on the substat. I stockpile the gear so that when the time comes, I cleanse it. 
So this one's a, an attack flat piece with a speed substat there that didn't roll. I can't risk it more. I can't risk my silver more with that. So I will be uh, selling that one. But yeah, that, that weapon, that is the best item we rolled today. And I rolled so many items so far. I think I was at 450. I'm at 150 items. You can see how this can take a long time and can be something that you guys don't want to be doing. I can see it. But if you don't want to spend, you got to do this. The three star, I should have sold that one. Uh, I don't know why I kept it. The three stars are not that worth it. So you guys can see on how many items I have here. The, the Rathalos pieces here, all of those. Uh, we're almost done. I think I'm going to um, stop on the, on the artifacts because I was planning to stop when the silver ran out. But I'm being really efficient here and I'm proud of myself. I'm not tempted by the click one button to get it to level 16. I'm not tem tempted by that. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with myself with this progression so far for this artifact enhancement. So this is the way to do it, guys. It's, it, it is time intensive, but guess what? You're watching this video together with me. You're doing your artifact cleanse together with me. You might have way more items than me, so it, it will be confusing to go through all of them. But if you've been farming, and you do this method as I do, where you keep all the junk. You don't sell it immediately. You don't sell it on a whim. You just wait and sell them at the right time after you've upgraded them a little bit. Look at this. HP percent, accuracy, crit rate, crit damage, attack percent. Perfect item. Get it to 12. Come on. Give me crit rate. Beautiful. Beautiful. Some of these items, I know they're not going to be worth it. But... Um, you just go along with it, right? Gear is the biggest part of Raid Shadow Legends that is not um, so clear that it's gear. I, I find I've done takeovers, right? For a long time. Then takeovers. It's very unclear to players. They don't realize on how important it can be to have good pieces of gear compared to the champions that they have. They think champions is the way to go. If I have this champion, I'll be beating this gear. I don't understand why I'm not doing so well. I should have been doing way better than I'm doing. Well, guess what? Your gearing is bad. And that is why you're not progressing and uh, pushing where you should be pushing. So some of these items like attack percent, it's a four star. I got to sell these because I'm never going to use them, honestly. So did I sell all the four stars that I had? Yeah. Not all of them, but but yeah. So this one's a five star. The Bloodthirster is actually very low key, amazing for free to play accounts. It's it's just amazing because it doesn't. Um, it's not a bad. It's not a bad set. It's a crit rate set plus lifesteal set. So I find zero zero reason to not farm that set when uh, the time is right and you still need lifesteal set. So this is the guardian set. The guardian set is useful, but um, later on, maybe the six month mark at this point on my account, I don't find it useful for the, the guardian set. It can be useful because it's like a region set plus an ally protection set. So things like the um, faction wars and doom tower can be done much easier because of this, right? Because of this set, it's you're helping your whole team um, be stronger by surviving. So these items, um, I'm again thinking twice and three times before actually selling them because these items can be very good on the long term for the account. So that Guardian Helmet is down, carrying on. Crit rate over there. Um, these items, I'm going to keep to four, but I'm not going to sell them. Maybe the four stars I'm going to sell because I've been farming that boss a lot. So maybe I'll just sell the four stars and shut up and, uh, and see how that does to the account. But again, I don't have a direct use for this one. And the, the free to play journey, the free to play competition at least ends in about a month from now. I'm, I'm thinking of keeping the account, honestly, because I can do some 
relevant comparisons to the main account. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be pushing it as a free to play account and all that, but because um, I already have like two legendaries on it that I, I got from shards. I have lots of shards that I'll be summoning soon enough. Maybe I get something there that is worth it, but it's yeah, it's a cool account. So, so far these items, the guardian set, it's, it's a good, uh, it's a good set. It's a good set, but you have to be careful not to do what I'm doing right now. Cause I wasn't thinking of just keeping everything at this point, but I want to be selling items and keeping like the five stars. Maybe I think the five stars are going to be good for the purpose that I was saying, which is getting your account to um, progress through faction wars and doom tower using the guardian set as an additional way to ally protect the ally protect fact is, is big with this set. Some of these items like this one's got accuracy. I wouldn't really use on a champion that is intended to ally protect, but this one has crit rate and crit damage. So this is like a perfect item for a champion that doesn't care about the main stat. And uh, let's say Royal Guard, your husk can use the main stat, but Royal Guard, um, Royal Guard, Husk and Cold Heart are the main um, candidates for that one. So this one's resistance. It's kind of the same idea, but it's again, very difficult to do anything with it. The worst thing about this is that my hand gets tired with all the clicking and leveling of the items. It's, it's nuts. It's nuts. And um, that's why I hate to do this on the main account because it, this is m even more con consuming of my time. Because on the main account, I have way more items. So I can't just do this and be efficient. So I'm saving time by spending money, which is a bad thing to admit. But different priorities, main account, free to play account, free to play account. I'm proud for it to stay free to play and uh, show this journey. But the free to play accounts usually become unrealistic about the six month mark where the efficiency of playing six months and actually, you know, being careful about everything, all that efficiency adds up. And then people are very um, dismissive of all that work you've done so far so uh look at this one level eight uh, some of these items i could have taken to eight honestly some of the crit damage you don't need like on a weapon i have three weapons already you have to think about that as well like how many champions are you going to equip with that set the lethal set i farmed a little bit of that one farmed a little bit of that one so come on give me crit rate all right, didn't roll that that well, but you guys can see I'm I'm at the 500,000 silver and I haven't been dropping. I've been selling stuff and uh, the journey is done. I've, I've reached the point where I've gone through all my artifacts. Um, we'll see in the end on how many points I get. This is a four star lethal, by the way. I've kept it because it's kind of worth it. So look at this HP percent speed HP percent rolled with crit damage. I don't think I'm going to use it. Speed speed is amazing. Impulse said this is from the um, arena, the chest from arena. Look at that. It's, it's, the six stars are so much stronger. Look at this double crit rate there. It just gives me 18%. This one, um, HP percent primary, very nice with the defense percent there. This is a crit damage one. Gonna take it just to four. I'm probably gonna sell it. Yeah, I don't have much use of that one. And this one I took to 16 because this was a speed boot. A speed boot. Uh, Supersonic said this is from whatever stages I was doing of on the, um, what's it called? The Cursed City on the, on the free to play. They didn't do that much of the Cursed City. I think I did 10 levels in total of both hard and normal, maybe more. But it's, uh, it's, it's not easy to beat the bosses with the limited selection of champions I have. But these ones I'm going to sell. Level eight, one merciless item I have in speed boots with this bad stats. I was going to say 
<laughs> I was going to say shit, but I thought about it and then I thought, why not say it? I mean, who's going to mind if they're watching this long video? So, uh, the Rathalo set sounds a very good set, right? Uh, I'm not that excited about the Rathalo set. The exciting thing about the Rathalo set is a one and two and three piece bonus, which if you can fit it right um, on a champion, you can get some extra stats. But it's not it's not that crazy to replace the the, the Rathalo set. Slayer set, Slayer set. I'm sorry, Plarium. You called it Slayer set now because you got an agreement with the Monster Hunter guys. And you cannot say Rathalos said anymore because it's whatever deal you had, whatever. Okay. You shouldn't have named it Rathalos in the first place. So maybe they named it just so they can sell more, but whatever. Um, level four, level eight. Again, this is HP percent, but it has speed. So I can use it as a broken set on maybe, maybe I have somebody who needs HP percent plus some crit rate. He can use it. So this one's a five star Rathalos. Legendary. I'm gonna take it to eight and see how that does. Didn't roll well. Gotta go. It it has to go. Have some good pieces already from Rathalos, so I'm not really complaining. And then level eight. Tack flat there on that one. That was so bad. This one has to be speed and crit damage for it to be good. Crit ra damage resistance, not that great. But it is a, it is HP percent, you know, it's, it's hard to get HP percent. But I guess I have other pieces that are filling that role. So look at that. Accuracy. Then these speed boots. Oh, defense boots, defense percent boots. HP percent crit damage. Eh, they're okay, but they're five stars. So. I had like 450 artifacts at the start. I'm at 260 and I, I could have sold many more of these, honestly, like some of these, like this one piece. I don't even know why I still have that one. 625. Let's go. Um, I don't even know why I still have that one. So how far do you guess I've gone on uh, the artifact enhancement? We'll we'll see now. The clan has been pushing a little bit, so I can get some extra rewards here. That's nice, actually, especially the clan gold. Um, but what I was doing also was giving me clan points, right? Yeah, I got like 15,000 points and I have only been upgrading items. Hmm. Okay. All right. I wonder. I wonder how many points I got through that one. Let's see one second, guys. I'm looking through everything. Clicking through. These are the, like the main clicks I do every day. It's like the refresh. This guy is probably going to kill my whole team, but whatever. Let's see. Artifact enhancement. How did this go? 1.7k. 1.7k. Just imagine I started with 3.8, 3 3.9 million silver. I'm at 1,700. So basically, no, I'm not going to say half is done because you need like 5,000. So I've done. I've done a good bit, right? I've done a good bit of this 1,700 and I still have a long way to go, obviously, but barely use any of my silver. I have lots of energy still left. This journey is still not over. As I've mentioned, the artifact enhancement is really doable if you are pushing the right way. Like I have lots of the forge pieces that I can do. This is from faction wars every day can craft all of these, right? And get more pieces that I can roll and sell also for silver. Remember that silver guardian said, this is from, I've just went through my guardian said, this is from the, um, faction war lethal. Um, I'm keeping this one. I'm probably not going to roll any of these. And slayer said pretty much the same thing. Probably going to do just the five stars. Or maybe I'll keep them because the six stars I can do later on. But this is this is how you progress and finish the artifact enhancement, guys. This is just day one, and I did a good chunk of all of this. I'm gonna go back now to the ice golem farm using all my my energy, which um, I'm gonna get now as well. Like more energy here. This this clan clan shop energy as well. There's the silver here as well. If I really wanted to go crazy and get more silver, I can get this one. 
And that's how you do the artifact enhancement. When that finishes, when the artifact enhancement finishes, meaning you get your fragments that you need, you stop. Then you wait for the artifact enhancement number three. Remember that there's the third one as well. And a guard uh, dungeon divers as well tomorrow. That is that is going to be annoying because it doesn't coincide with anything else. So you cannot double dip for points, which sucks, but is attended. Uh, funny thing is, look at this free to play. Still four weeks left of XP boost. That's crazy. That is crazy. Right. This was the video, guys. I hope you found it helpful. Artifact enhancement for new players, basically. So many points with like three million silver. Um, the only the only way I can I can imagine you would get more points would be if you were leveling items to sixteen, with an average cost of let's say you leveled items. 270 points to 16, all right? 270 times, no, no, divided by 270, let's say, I would need to level up six or seven items to 16 with 3 million silver, 4 million silver. I would level up six items to get this amount of points. I didn't. And this way I got so much out of all the items that I farmed but it did take me a lot, a lot of time and I hope you stuck through with this one and uh, seen how to be efficient. This was the video guys. Thank you all subscribe if you aren't already. I will see you in the next one. See ya.